you can convert a PDF worksheet into an editable document for your students. I found a PDF document from the Oxford Hour, which I will include in the description below, and I've opened it on my Windows computer. My computer is using uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader to view the documents. Uh, in Adobe Acrobat Reader, if you have a subscription, you can convert from one file format to another. However, I'm going to use my computer's snipping tool to take a screenshot of this document. So I'm just going to highlight the area that I would like to save as a picture. And I'm going to save this file into my pictures. and select save. And now I'm going to close that down and I'm going to open up a new Google Slides. You can type in slides.new into Google when you're signed in and it will create you a brand new page. From here, we need to change the orientation of the page. I'm going to go to file and page setup. By default, it will be on widescreen. I'm going to select custom and we're going to have 21 centimeters by 29. And I'm going to select apply. This one I'll turn the page into a portrait page. I'm going to get rid of these boxes. I'm just going to click on the blue line and press the delete key. Now we've taken our image and we've saved it. Now I'm not going to import this as a, an, an image. I'm going to go to backgrounds and I'm going to choose the image. I'm going to browse my computer to upload our image. Here's our document, and I'm going to select open. By using the background method, this stops the students from being able to move the page around. Right, once the image is uploaded, select done. From here, we have an image that won't move around, but I can't type in any of the boxes. So from the menu system, we're going to select a text box, and we're just going to drag this text box over each of the areas to fill out. Now, when I click off of here, the students won't see that there is a text box there. So you could write in type here, for example. Now, I've got multiple boxes. So on the keyboard, I can press the control key and the letter D, and it will duplicate that text box over and over again, including the text. If you have a longer question, like down here, we can actually use the same method, and we can just make the text box longer. Once you've completed all of your films, it's easy to save it and share it in Google Classroom. Now that I've completed all of my films, I'm going to give this Google slide a title and I'm going to go to Google Classroom. I'm going to create a new post on the Classworks page. I'm just going to do this as an assignment. I'm going to give it a title. And I'm going to select add from down here and it's already saved in Google Drive. So I'm going to add the file from Google Drive. And be aware, over here, we don't want the students to just view the file. We want them to edit a file. So I'm actually going to select Make a Copy for each student. And each student will have their individual file that they are able to return back into us. I'm going to click the Assign tab. And now each student in your class will have a copy of their own document that they can fill out and return.